All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, one of the best 2Ks I've seen in a while. We haven't seen all the BS yet, but outside of shooting, I think this has been one of the better games. We're going to be talking about all of this today. We're going to be talking about the gameplay in general. We're going to be talking about the servers and and how lackluster they are at the moment and we're also going to be talking about the best badges to equip for each category in the game so sit back relax hit the video with a like because you know that youtube ties my videos being seen to how many people like them so let's try to get this video to over a thousand likes in the first 24 hours or something like that man so it can get recommended and other people can find their way to the channel and they can get helped out a lot but without further ado let's get right into it Lido! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna start right off the bat with the finishing badges. We're gonna try to go through this as quickly as possible. For right now, the best badges in the game are uh the best finishing badge, hands down, Slithery Finisher. Slithery Finisher is the best badge in the game because it makes the centers and people that are trying to defend you throw their hand up or it makes them commit to you early so that you can go around them and lay it up. If you're familiar with how to use the shot stick and I put a tutorial out about that yesterday, you can actually go up, they'll go up, and then you can adjust with the shot stick and you can make layups and stuff like that. Teardropper is probably gonna be a really good badge this year because of the shot stick. When I make my, uh, it's not, not by any means one of the top badges, but because of the shot stick, it should be one of the better badges in the game. When I make my uh, guard bill, we'll see how that goes. Now, uh, the second badge, contact finisher. Slithery and contact work together in great tandem, just because they throw their hand up and if, even if they do recover and get back to you, you dunking on them, you finishing with contact. That's good. Giant Slayer is okay, but I would go with uh, consistent finisher is probably one of the third best badges because, uh, because you know, you just get to finish your layups and stuff like that through contact consistently. Relentless Finisher, very good badge. These are the top badges. So if I had to rank them, I would say Slithery is number one, Contact is number two, Relentless is number three, Consistent is number four, Fancy, we don't know how the hop steps and stuff are yet, so that's what I'm just gonna say is number five. Everything else is probably, if you're a big man, back down Punisher, yeah, but other than that, man, everything else is probably just like, eh, meh, at best. Cross key score, if you shoot a lot of fades and stuff across the key, probably gonna be one of the better badges, but, and then of course, Lob City is gonna be up there just because you wanna be able to catch your lobs and all of that good stuff. But that's the, and Pro Touch, I, I've not seen it, I guess it will be good, but the only reason I say Pro Touch is not that good, uh, just because I use the stick. So if you don't use the stick, maybe Pro Touch is gonna help you out. But let's just go to the next ones. Uh, we'll do shooting last. Defensive badges, look man, it depends on what you play. This badge right here is the best badge in the game, Intimidator. You need Intimidator so people can't hit shots in your face and stuff like that. Now, after that, if you're a perimeter guy, you gotta go with Clamps. Clamps is going to be, you probably want Clamps first if you're a perimeter, but Clamps and Intimidator, 1A and 1B. Then, if you're um, after that, after truthfully, after that, if you're somebody that play on the perimeter, you can really do what you want. You can go interceptor, pickpocket. I don't use those guys, Ty, uh, Tyler's defender. These are good badges. But if you're on the perimeter, clamps and intimidator. And if, if I had nine, I would go probably go clamps, intimidator, pick dodger. If I had only nine badges, because you know you got to be able to get around those screens, and you need pick, you need pick uh, dodger at silver so you don't get knocked over by screens so much. Then after that, you can really do what you want to. If you're a big man, you gotta have box and rebound chaser first. Then you wanna go rim protector, probably put one on chase down artist, but you have to have intimidator too so people can't just make shots. The way that it is this year, the weight of a player really makes a difference. Uh, you can't just go in there and lay the ball up on a big man anymore if he's got a lot of strength. So uh, that's why I say if I'm a big man, I go rebound chaser first, put some on box, well I go intimidator first, then rebound chaser box, Gotta have Pogo. Pogo on silver will keep you from jumping and falling and stuff like that, so you'll be good with that. Um, moving truck is a very good badge if you're a light guy, but nobody's gonna be able to back me down because I got 99 strength and I got that. Pickpocket, I, I really don't eh, I, I really don't like pickpocket for, for big men. Interceptor is cool if you're one of those lane spamming guys, but, but I got a 54 steal and I'm getting steals out there, so it's not a big deal. And I'm talking about in part two. 
Uh, really, other than that, brick wall. If your guy likes to set screens, and uh, you just put one on chase down artist and probably max out rim protector. But you just need one on chase down artist so you can lock down, uh, unlock the animations. So chase down on bronze, uh, pogo on on silver, and then probably put clamps on silver. Also, if you're a big man, so you can cut off people driving because they're letting you do that this year. And then you're gonna go intimidator. I would put Intimidator first though, and Rebound Chaser first, and then with your ancillary badges, this is the first things you need to be picking up. Pogo, and then probably put two on clamps. Uh, I would max out box, especially if you're undersized, because the big guys with 95, you're not able to box them out if you don't have a high box. And then Brick Wall if your guy likes to do stuff, and one right here, and then uh, max that out. That's what I would do. Uh, up next, Shooting Badges. Look man, I'm smacking in the park, and this is all I got. The first badge that you want to put on, is gonna be range extender. Put on range extender before you put on anything else. And catch and shoot. I was much more consistent. So do that, then you can probably go corner specialist. Uh, depending on how you shoot, hot zone hunter or, or corner specialist, they're interchangeable. I wanna put on green machine this year and I wanna test out flexible release, but we just have to see how the game is gonna go. I'm just saying if, the, if you're starting the game out, these are the ones you gotta have right off the bat. Range extender, I would probably put that on Hall of Fame first and then probably put uh, then adjust to how you play. Dead Eye, you probably only need that on, on bronze just like last year. But uh, Corner Specialist, I would put that. That's that's a very important badge. And then uh, these are the main ones right here. Range extender first. Then depending on how you shoot. If you, if you are a guard and you dribble around, you go hot zone first. And then probably put one on Dead Eye. But if you're a catch and shoot person, you're gonna put obviously catch and shoot first so it works from everywhere. And then you're gonna put on corner specialist and you're gonna go from there. Uh, flexible release, we're gonna see how that works. I'm gonna test that out and we're gonna put a video out about that uh, later. But you know, we're gonna see how that goes. Volume shooting and all the other stuff, those are the luxury badges. But the ones you gotta have, you gotta have range extender, corner, catch, and hot zone, just depending on how you play. And then last but not least, I don't have a playmaking bill, so it'd be hard for me to tell y'all what to put on, but these are the ones that you're really gonna wanna put on right here. Probably the first thing you're gonna wanna put on is handles for days. Handles for days and then then uh, dimer and floor general. Uh, you gotta have quick first step, so handles for days, quick first step is what I would go first. Just so I can get my get my rocks off. Then I'll probably help my team out, go dimer, floor general. Uh, unpluckable, you might need that this year. I've seen a lot of people getting plucked this year. So, you know, it, it really depends on, um, you know, it really depends on how you want to play it. But those, this is, and, you know, Dream Shake, all that stuff. I ain't gonna break it, we don't know how that works yet. Uh, but those are your most important badges. Stop and go, I think it's gonna be a very important badge too. I've heard a couple people say that you can't really, you can't really do what you want to do um, without stop and go. Uh, just like that. So that's it for the badges portion. Now, now we got to get on to the rant, man. Just because of the fact that that 2K likes to do things, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. They, they actually, it's not bad. This game is not bad at all. And when I'm telling y'all it's not bad, I'm really saying, I'm really saying it's not a bad game at all. I feel like this could be one of the better 2Ks in a very very long time but with the servers being down on yesterday i don't know and look we just playing some come ups out here today bro I, I i don't know like this is what we got out here so i can only play who's in front of me but i'm only at 83 so it is what it is like i said man one of the things that i will tell y'all about 2k is this every year the lunch is something else i'm okay with the game i've gone out to the park as you can see i'm out here playing with no clothes on i'm butt naked uh what is this a uh I'm a bro. I don't know what I am right now. A brown shirt or whatever. But from my perspective, it's one of the better 2Ks I've played in a while. But the servers still suck. And when I'm telling you the servers still suck, man, what I'm really telling you is, it's like, it's like you're playing the game, but I feel like I'm in mud. Now on yesterday, you couldn't even get in the parks. You couldn't play park. You couldn't play pro am. You could come into the park and stuff like that. But when you came into the park or pro-am and tried to play the game just stayed there and inevitably never went anywhere it's just like you stuck on the spot so you had to quit out the game and stuff like that i didn't have a problem with that because i was really in my career all day yesterday trying to get this guy badged up and i will be grinding in my career on twitch right after this if y'all want to check it out but i'm just saying it's just it's one of those things where it's just like i don't understand why 2k can't get the service quite right ever at launch anytime my guy feels super slow super sluggish 
super just like I feel like I can't do anything at all. And like I 65, 64 speed right now. I understand I'm only at 83 and I know speed is tied to all of that stuff, man. But I just feel like it's overly slow in the park right now. And like, obviously speed kills, don't get me wrong. But I just really feel like they could have done a little bit better with the service this year. You guys let me know if you agree. Let me know what you guys think about it. And yes, I am in the park shooting with the stick. Even though it is hard, I'm still able to shoot with the stick. I'm, I'm still able to hit shots. And uh, a lot of, because a lot of people are like, oh, you can hit in my court, but it, no, bro, I can shoot. If you can shoot, you can shoot. It's way harder to me shooting in my career than it was in the park. And the only, I don't even think I had catch catch on this this game. But uh, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm only rocking catch and shoot, and I'm only rocking, uh, 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 range extender and that's what you really have to have but I will tell you this even with all of that the gameplay seems very good it just seems very good it's, it's it is responsive it is you do it's, it's crazy because it's like you feel slow and sluggish like when I press the button my guy moves but he just feels like I'm just slow as hell just getting up and down the court. And it's really hard to explain. Like the gameplay online seems much slower than it is offline. I don't know. I don't think it's like that every year because my guy didn't feel this slow last year. I didn't feel like I was I was overly slow, overly not able to do anything. I didn't really feel like that last year, but this year it just feels like with the with I, and I don't know if it's because yesterday they turned the servers off and they did some stuff like that and they making some changes and they're trying to make everything be a little bit better. But the park is the park is playable it's very good it's a good experience i just feel like there's something going on with the service to where and it's probably so it's just a little latency out there like and you can tell it from game to game because some games you'll shoot with the stick it'll be nice and smooth when it goes when you're trying to uh you know position the stick but other games the stick is just jumping like oop, oop, oop. and when it does that i gotta shoot with the uh i gotta shoot with square at that point in time but overall gameplay I mean, you know, overall, the park experience is actually pretty good. It's just crazy that right now it feels like I'm lagging from game to game. Some games you'll be playing, everything's good. You're like, okay, this is dope. Then you'll play the next game and it'll feel like, bro, I am lagging my balls off. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what I can do. I don't know what I need to do. But that's really my only complaint. Jump shooting, it does need to be loosened up a little bit more. But like I said, I'm shooting okay, but... I know other people aren't because they're not using the shot stick and they're not doing this. I think, like, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, but I was probably shooting 60% from three, and then I got on the team, I was playing with randoms. I got on the team and I realized that your hot spots carry over from my career, right? So I didn't have any hot spots on the right side. The random kept making me shoot from the right side and I ain't got no hot spots over there. So I was chicken from the left, but shooting on the right, it was just like, bro, I can't, I, I, I really couldn't hit anything. So if you can't hit, Get your badges, get your hot spots, do all of that. But shooting is really the only complaint that I got with this game. But like you said, hey, on that left side, I'm chicken. Y'all can see it. This is not like me just putting out my best game. I'm gonna put up a video today about shooting and all of that stuff. But other than that, I think gameplay is really good. Dribbling is really good. Um, Defense is really good for right now that nobody don't have any badges. I've seen a couple of guys out there shooting fades and just not being able to be stopped. We had a dude that had Klay Thompson and he was getting a steal every time he reached and he was hitting fades every time. We haven't seen a lot of people taking, taking advantage of the cheese, but I'm just saying as a whole right now, the game seems like a really, a really good and polished product, not worrying about the service. I feel like they can do some other things to the servers. Maybe they can turn some more online, reduce, reduce the latency, and do some stuff like that. But I just don't. I, I just don't know what else could possibly be done at this point. A lot of people feel like they're probably just waiting for the next gen. I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like where we are right now is where we're gonna be. But if it's if it's if it's at least this good on next gen. I'll be cool with it. It's gotta be at least as good, but you know, and then be a little bit better. But gameplay wise, the game is great. Um, like I said, dribbling and responsive. Shooting is really the only complaint. Defense is really good. And I'm not talking about defense is really good just, just like because you can't shoot. I'm talking about defense is good as in if somebody goes up in your chest, they're going to miss the shot unless they time it with the stick very well. So I think the addition of, of timing layups combined with uh combined with better paint defense defense my dude has a uh, good weight on him so he got good weight and good strength so if somebody comes up into me they 99% of the time they're gonna miss it the only problem I'm having right now myself 
gameplay wise is I don't have all my badges, so I need more defensive badges. I get more defensive badges, I can play better defense. I can get um need more lateral quickness and stuff like that. And maybe that's why my guy feels so slow and sluggish because I don't have much lateral quickness and all that stuff. But all in all, the game, as you can see right here, three for four, uh, one for two from three. We made one guy quit. All in all, I feel like this 2K is a really good game. It's really, I think it's worth the money. But if you want to wait and, and go next gen, I, I would do that. I mean, it, it's cool either way you want to do it. But paying $100 this gen, and then you're getting the, you know, a uh, 100 grand towards your character on this gen and everything carrying over. I think it's worth it just to go ahead and get it now and see what you think about it. But for right now, gameplay, I think the gameplay is actually really good. If you're a dribbler or something like that, I think you're probably really enjoying the game. You just got to unlock the best dribble moves and stuff like that. But if you take the information that we gave you today with the badges, and um you know with the badges and and you take this the video that i'm gonna put out this evening about how to shoot and all that you take the video i put out yesterday about how to shoot i think you're gonna be just fine gameplay wise i'll probably give it an eight uh servers we're gonna give them a three and uh you know badges we don't need no stinking badges man we're gonna play the game anyway like i said i'm just an 83 overall once i get up and up and up i know i'm gonna enjoy the game more but i really feel for people that are like 60 overalls and stuff like that man because if you have if you're 60 overall and you don't have any way to get any vc whew, it's gonna be a long ride for you my boy anyway i gotta get up out of here man hopefully hopefully this helps somebody out hopefully you guys enjoyed the video leave a like on the video let's get the video to a thousand likes in the first uh 24 hours and i'm gonna holler at y'all next time until next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak! Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, God speak. God speak, God speak. We good.